Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. The abortion drug RU486 is quietly killing women across America. Hi, I'm Matt Saver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council and dean of Liberty University School of Law. Joining me is Matt Barber, the vice president of Liberty Council Action and also associate dean at the law school. Matt, I hate to say this because lives are at stake, but we told you so. When this particular drug was marketed and it got fast approval under the Obama administration through the FDA, we said that it was premature and that it would actually kill women and harm women. And the Planned Parenthood and abortion allies and the Obama administration said, oh, no, this is, this is safe and uh, it is something that is necessary and needed. Now what we find is that the FDA has released a report showing that the drug, the abortion drug RU486, has uh, indicated 14 women have died and more than 2,200 women have experienced serious medical problems from the drug in the United States alone, not counting around the world. Yeah, in addition, uh, the complications of this uh, abortion pill, and that's what it is, make no mistake, they've led 612 women to be hospitalized, Uh, 339 were required to undergo a major blood transfusion, and 256 suffered from a variety of of, uh, infections. Matt, you know, imagine... Any other drug uh, that was put on the market to to deal with with anything else, it would be yanked in a heartbeat. But because RU486 has the uh, political uh, protection of the abortion lobby, uh, as we mentioned in our press release, the FDA quietly released this report with no fanfare, trying to draw as little attention to it as possible. Not surprising with this Obama administration. But but this is a, a very dangerous drug. As you said, we've been saying it all along. Um, and hopefully now people will start to wake up and and do the right thing. This really, RU486 needs to be pulled from the shelves. It needs shelves. to be pulled from the, the shelves. But the Obama administration and the Planned Parenthood radical abortion allies are blinded to the truth, and they care nothing about women. They only care about perpetuating the Holocaust against the unborn. The, Ameri- the Abortion Care Network said that, well, it's safe, and many women feel that this drug which is also called uh, Mifepristone, is private and more natural. Also, uh, this particular um, drug, according to the FDA, this recent report said that abortion businesses are misdiagnosed or misusing the drug and that some uh, abortion businesses are prescribing it to patients with confirmed or suspected ectopic pregnancy. Mm -hmm. This is a pregnancy where the fertilized egg does not get into the uterus, but it's in the fallopian right. tube. And uh, the woman will die in that situation if it's or have serious bodily injury if something is not done. The baby is not going to continue to uh, survive in that situation. And the woman will ha- – that, that's one of those real life-threatening situations where the baby can't continue to live in the fallopian tube without being in the uterus. And the woman ultimately, when that baby continues to grow, it will burst the fallopian tube – and cause serious infection and possibly even death. Well, we, we've often said abortion hurts women, kills children. Now we have, at a, at a minimum, 14 instances where, where uh, it, as it pertains to RU486, abortion kills women and children. Yeah, it kills both. It, it's got to be uh, pulled from the shelves. They you said know. that there were 58 cases where it was given to women who had an ectopic pregnancy. Mm-hmm. And, and that is one of those rare, rare life versus life uh, situations. Uh, this particular uh, RU46 regimen suppresses a woman's immune system and in some cases fragments of the unborn child or other cells uh, are not expelled from the uterus so they remain inside and therefore they start rotting and decaying causing infection and complications. Uh, it can result in endometriosis which is an irritation of the lining of the uterus, pelvic inflammatory disease, Uh, involving uh, the nearby reproductive organs and pelvic infections with a sepsis 
uh, systematic or systemic infection spreading beyond the reproductive organs. So it can cause some really serious problems. Uh, this drug is not safe. We knew it wasn't safe. It should never have been approved. But the Obama administration wanted to placate his radical Planned Parenthood allies. Well, you know, where are the the bold warning labels on the cover of, of RU486 that say, warning, this product may kill you? Uh, we, we don't see them there. And, you know, Matt, you went in and you described – uh, the very graphic uh, result of what R U four eighty six does to the unborn child, does uh, to the mother, and and the consequences of that with le- you know leaving some of the material uh, which can become inf- infected and and as, as you put it you know it, it begins to rot. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it, rotting flesh it, inside the mother's womb, it, yeah. and which again underscores the reality, the fact that this is another separate, completely separate human being, even at the earliest stages of of development. And this is an abortion pill. It is dangerous, even deadly. It must be pulled off the shelves. Well, the FDA classified 48 of the infections as severe infections, which they say, quote, generally involve death or hospitalization for at least two to three days, intravenous antibiotics for at least 24 hours, and total antibiotic usage for at least three days. And that's from uh, this FDA report. Now, this FDA report comes out quietly. There's no big fanfare about it. Uh, They have to report these complications. But they just uh, submit it out there privately, hoping that no one's going to really take notice of it. And that's why we're wanting to make sure that you receive information like this. We have it on our Liberty Alert. If you receive our Liberty Alert, you would have received this press release. You can go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org, lc.org. And right there, sign up for the free Liberty Alert. And we made this available. We also want to make it available, of course, on this program, Faith and Freedom. But the results reinforce the other findings of the FDA, which has also reported previously adverse effects associated with RU486 back in 2006. Mm -hmm. Now, this was before President Obama was elected into office in 2008. We had information already from the FDA about serious complications of RU486. But President Obama, when he was running for president, remember the comment he made at a Planned Parenthood event, the first thing he wants to do, he said, when he becomes president, the first thing is sign into law the Freedom of Choice Act. Now, that's an amazing revelation that that's the very first – if someone says, if you were president of the United States, what's the very first thing that you would do? You know, It's at the top, top of your list. Well, for the president, it was to sign into law the Freedom of Choice Act. He hasn't done that yet because there's not enough votes in Congress to pass it. But that would abolish all restrictions on abortion, parental notification, informed consent. So what he did instead is he pushed this through the FDA to get FDA approval of this RU486. Abortion abortion is absolutely the sacred cow of the left. They will do everything and anything to circle the wagons and protect it. We see them doing that with Planned Parenthood that is under tremendous fire right now for uh, just a a pile. The the evidence continues to pile up of criminal wrongdoing uh, systemic across uh, throughout the Planned Parenthood organization. Uh, You know, you mentioned informed consent. You mentioned how quietly the FDA reported uh, the dangers of RU486. The left, those sympathetic to the abortion industry, hate informed consent. All they want is the consent. They don't want people to be informed. We're going to step in where, where they are derelict and we are going to inform people. I hope that women listening right now for, for ethical reasons will not have an abortion, but now for their own health and well-being, stay away from RU486. Well, give us a call at 1-800-671-1776. You know, right now with the debt discussions, at a minimum, we ought to defund Planned Parenthood. Yeah. That ought to be something that ought to be at the very top of our list, defunding abortion in America. You can give us a call at 1-800-671-1776 and ask for this Hold Their Feet to the Fire bumper sticker. What a great time to display this now with all the discussion going on in Washington, D.C. over the debt crisis. They ought to obviously defund Planned Parenthood. We should not even be thinking twice uh, in good times, let alone bad times, of funding abortion through this radical Planned Parenthood organization. And also you can ask for the Patriot's Handbook of American Liberty. It's the United States Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. And it also has Patrick Henry's famous speech given about 236 years ago in St. John's 
church in Richmond, Virginia, the Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech. You can ask for the Patriot's Handbook by calling 1-800-671-1776 or go to Liberty Council's website at lc.org. When you go there, you can also order other resources and you can uh, become a, a partner with Liberty Council through your prayers and your financial support. You can give an online credit card contribution right there on the website. There's also an address. You can mail information. You can mail your contributions to Liberty Council. All that we do, we do pro bono, free of charge across the country, and we couldn't do it without your partnership and your prayers. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom. 